Hey guys, DC Network here, coming at you with another video. About four or five months ago, we discussed on this channel how the Bakugan reboot has been cancelled in favor of a brand new generation of Bakugan, a brand new reboot coming this year, this summer to be exact. And this has been referred to as many as Bakugan Generation 3. And if you guys haven't seen the details or don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a card above to that video. But at the time, four or five months ago, we didn't really have that many details on what exactly this new Bakugan is. We saw some little pictures of the new symbols of the new factions that they're going to have and we saw that some of the Bakugan are going to spin like Beyblades. As of a few days ago I walked into my local Target and started to see some of the merchandise for this new Bakugan on store shelves and I actually got my hands on a few of these Bakugan so now I can give us a better idea as to what exactly this new Bakugan is and let me just start by saying this new Bakugan is really really weird so first and foremost let's discuss the attribute system or faction system that is new to this generation of bakugan and we'll get into the actual physical toys a little bit later because they're also very confusing but as you guys know generation one of bakugan had six different attributes pyrus aquos darkest chaos ventus and subterra those were the six attributes that each bakugan was a part of and in generation two of bakugan the reboot that was just canceled this year five of those six attributes returned in the form of factions with subterra being taken out in favor of Auralis, and those were the six factions in the bakugan reboot that just ended this year well this time around bakugan is using a clan system which is very different from what we've seen before so i'll put a little picture up of all the symbols for these clans thanks to the bakugan wiki for putting these all together but essentially we have the aquatic clan the avian clan the dino clan dragon clan insect clan mammal clan and the misfit clan as i said in my video four or five months ago they have much more of a wild theme this time around as you can see aquatic bakugan it's for bakugan who are aquatic who are water creatures same thing goes for avian it's for bakugan who fly dinos for ones that are dinosaurs dragons are for dragons and so on and so on so instead of having an element that these bakugan are attributed to they just have different clans based on the type of bakugan they are and what makes this confusing to me is if you guys recall all red bakugan are Pyrus Bakugan, Green Bakugan are Ventus Bakugan in the prior two generations and so on and so on. All the black ones are Darkest and Blue for Aquos and etc etc. Well in this Bakugan the colors no longer have any meaning as to what clan they are in. For example I have a Dragonoid that I just purchased and he is red but he is a part of the Misfit Clan. And there are a total of five different colors in this new Bakugan reboot, being red, blue, green, white, and black slash purple being one color together. They are black or purple, and they are distinguished as one type of color, which is kind of strange, but that's besides the point. And so the thing that's confusing to me is, for example, I have a green Ventry that I just picked up. He's one of the new Bakugan, and you can see a picture of him on screen now, and he is a part of the Avian Clan, but I could also also get a white ventry who's a part of the avian clan it's just to me very confusing and we don't really know what these colors exactly mean what do they do what do they change about the game we don't really know as of right now we have the clan system for the new system of bakugan and that's not where the confusion ends so as i said before i picked up some of these new bakugan toys i purchased the special attack dragonoid i purchased a three pack with special attack ventry octagon and Trox. And let me just start by saying, first of all, when you open these toys in their box, they are very confusing. There are no instructions on how they work, nor are there the collection sheets that we used to get in prior generations of Bakugan, so we don't even know what's in the entirety of this wave, nor are there instructions on how to play the game. So I can't tell you how this game goes because I straight up don't know because it didn't say it in the box, so I don't know where to get instructions for how to play this thing. So let's start by saying what the gimmick is for this generation of Bakugan and so far there are two. The first of which is that every single Bakugan can split in half. They have a top half and a bottom half and you can mix and match every Bakugan with other Bakugan parts. You basically customize and make your own Bakugan which they did have this gimmick in the first generation of Bakugan. I believe it was called Baku Mutants and Baku Mutants were just a subline within the Mectanium Surge line of Bakugan but this time around 
every single Bakugan in this new generation, Generation 3, have the ability to split in half. And here's where my issue starts with this. So for example, I have a Diamond Trox that I got in the 3 pack. He is a part of the Misfit Clan. And when I put him on a Metallic card, he pops open as, you know, a Bakugan normally does. But the issue that I have with it is only the top half of the Bakugan pops open, the bottom half doesn't pop open, and I was like, huh, that's really confusing, why did only half of it open, is my Bakugan broken? Well, it turns out that you have to manually open the bottom half of a Bakugan, which in my opinion kind of defeats the purpose of it being a marble that magnetically opens up when it touches metal, like it defeats the purpose of being a Bakugan, same thing for the Octagon I got, the Octagon I have to pull out the bottom half of it to get its tentacles out, it doesn't just pop open on its own which to me is just again weird because isn't that the whole purpose of a Bakugan now the other gimmick which I did mention before is the special attack Bakugan and these are the Bakugan that I believe we saw a few months ago where they're basically like Beyblades so the bottom half of the Bakugan is a top like a Beyblade and the top half is a normal Bakugan and they get have these little like wheels in between them that we don't really know what they do in game as a gameplay mechanic but essentially they all come with a ripcord you put the ripcord inside the Bakugan you pull the string and it will start spinning like a Beyblade and then when it hits a metal card it will pop open and to me this is all just really confusing because I'm like it's not exactly Exactly the most comfortable thing to use because with Beyblade they have the little attachment piece that goes on top of the Beyblade that you hold on to and when you pull the ripcord it goes on its own you don't have to actually pull the Beyblade to get it to spin but with the Bakugan there's nothing to hold on to the top of the Bakugan you're physically holding the Bakugan in your hand and you have to pull the ripcord and then let it go on the floor or on a table or if you get an arena whatever the case may be it's just not the most comprehensive thing to use the most comfortable thing to use and the other thing as well which I have an issue with when i purchased the dragonoid and, and avian that i or sorry the dragonoid and ventry that's a part of the avian clan that i got they come separate they're not put together when you open them out of the box that's fine you figure they'll give you instructions on how to put these together but they do not they just come there and you're trying to figure out how do i put these together and i'm not joking when i say this but it took me a few minutes to figure out how do i put these together because i felt like i was going to break the thing and so essentially the way you put them together is these little like square pegs that you have to put the Bakugan on and then they attach magnetically and you have to slide them back to lock them in. Doesn't sound all that complicated but when you just get it in hand without any instruction on how to use this new mechanic it's a little confusing. All in all the new Bakugan reboot to me is just very strange this generation 3 of Bakugan. The clan system doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense how the colors are just random like you could go get a blue Dragonoid but he's still a part of the Misfit clan so what's the point of these different colored Bakugan and all in all it's just a really confusing line like the toys themselves aren't even that great because like I said before you have to manually pry open the regular Bakugan on the bottom half so they don't even work as Bakugan it's just a really confusing toy line I feel like the whole Beyblade spinning gimmick is just stupid like I don't understand why you'd want to do that with your Bakugan because if you want to get a toy that spins like a top go get a Beyblade don't get a Bakugan it's just a very confusing line i'm curious to see how it does because like i said before as a kid if i were a kid i don't think i'd enjoy this as much as the bakugan legends line that was just on store shelves i feel like that was much more comprehensive than this new generation of bakugan is this new generation of bakugan and again the show's not out yet it's going to be premiering on netflix on september 1st the full toy line isn't even out yet either it's just if you happen to come across some on toy shelves or see a few on amazon you can get them that way but technically it's not out out yet it's just very confusing it's just very strange like even if you go to the Bakugan website they don't have details on it they don't have anything on it because I don't think these toys are supposed to be on store shelves yet but like I said before this reboot strange and I'm curious to see how it does the one thing I will say before siding off of this video is I've noticed over the past I want to say three to four months since I've seen Bakugan is getting rebooted again I've noticed that store shelves haven't really been stocking Bakugan as much as they used to like I've been going to my local Target and even other targets around the area and I've noticed that they usually have the same Bakugan on the shelves like they're not getting the variety of
of stock that they used to in prior waves or in prior iterations of the reboot and i've noticed as well that a lot of them have been on clearance like they're trying to just clear out the bakugan shelves entirely for example i was at my local target last week i looked at the bakugan section it was completely empty and everything was on clearance so they're trying to get rid of the old bakugan in favor of putting these new one on store shelves i actually was talking to one of the employees who works there and he told me that they don't have anything yet with the new bakugan other than the arena sets so we'll see how this does because it does seem to me that the bakugan reboot the second generation of bakugan seemed to teeter off sales wise as we head to like evolutions as we got to the third iteration of the second generation of bakugan that's when it seemed to start to decline and then once we got to legends it was kind of like the toy line was dead in the water so we'll see if this new third generation of bakugan breathes fresh air into the franchise we'll see if it takes off but from what i've seen so far it really seems to me like it's going to be one of those lines in a toy franchise that is just so confusing that it doesn't sell that well and it ends up being canceled after a year i mean who knows i could be wrong but from what i've seen so far this bakugan reboot this third generation of bakugan is just confusing and in all honesty the toys aren't that nice i feel like the toys for bakugan generation 2 being battle planet you have jigen rising you have evolutions and armored alliance and legends i feel like that was better than this and we'll see what happens from here because like i said this third generation is definitely something strange anyways let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about all of this have you guys gotten your hands on any of these new bakugan and if so what do you think about them do you agree with me that they're just really weird if you guys enjoy this video be sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more content like this from dc network thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time